In part two of our video, I'm going to show you how to take your shared videos, upload them into the editor, and then create a highlight video for a single game. And I'll also show you how to take those same highlights and save them as highlight segments for use in future video compilations. Let's get started by adding this video into the editor and start looking for those great plays. Now one thing you want to keep in mind is that these are giant videos, so give it some time to load, especially when you're on a slower internet connection. Now you can just watch the game at normal speed by clicking the play button, or you can click on the fast forward, and it'll help you find those highlights that much quicker. If you click this fast forward button multiple times, it'll go faster each time you click it. And of course, if you want to go back five seconds, just click this button here and it'll take you back exactly five seconds in your video. To play the video in slow motion, all you have to do is click the turtle icon. And if you want to see the full screen video, just click this button. I'm going to watch the video now, but I'll be right back as soon as I find a great play so I can show you how to create the highlight and add some focus animation in to draw the viewer's attention to the specific point of action that I want them to watch. I've now found the first play that I'd like to add into my highlight reel, and all I have to do is stop the video, come over here to Highlight, just click it, and you'll see that the highlight will start at the point where my playhead has been stopped. If I want to increase the duration of this highlight, I can just stretch it out, or if I'd like to reduce it, I can just shrink it. Now the other thing I want to do is add a focus animation so the coach knows exactly where to look as this highlight is played. Now I'll just come over to the focus animation icon, click it, and then drag the focus animation to exactly where I want it. In this case, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Now when this video plays back, the video will pause for half a second. This yellow focus animation will appear to draw attention to this specific spot in the video, and then the video will continue playing. Now the other thing you may notice is that I've put a tag into my video. What I've done is I've come through and I've added touch tags into my video so that I can go through this video or a coach can go through this video and just use our jump function in the playback feature and just jump from point to point to point throughout this entire video. So I'm really doing two things. I'm adding highlights into my video and I'll create a highlight video, but I'm also putting the tags in so when I post the full game video, a coach can get to it every single touch of a specific player without having to watch the entire video. I've now completed adding all the highlights that I'd like to add into this video and you can see that some have focus animation and some do not. But what I want to do now is I want to add transitions in between each of my highlights. In other words, I want it to fade out and fade in for each of the different highlights because that way it's easier to see when one ends and one begins. To get that done for all of my highlights, all I need to do is come into options and click on this gear icon. I'm going to click on highlight transitions and now you'll see that the transitions have been added to each and every one of my highlights automatically. That's all I have to do to create the highlights with transitions. And now I'm ready to render my final highlight video. Remember that there are two types of videos that you can create. You can create a highlight segment, which will keep all of these individual highlights as separate pieces, so you can assemble them later into a larger season-long type of highlight compilation. On the other hand, if you create a highlight video, this type of video will take all of these pieces put them together in one continuous video for this particular game. For my purposes, I just want to create a highlight video for this game. And I'll save it. And now this video is being rendered in the background. While this video is being rendered, I'm able to work on other things inside this project. If I wanted to, I could save these same highlights as individual highlight segments. When you're creating highlight segments, you need to name each segment because each segment is basically saved as its own independent video. But I don't need them and I won't go through this extra step at this time. Now let's go take a look at the finished product. We'll come back to our media section. We'll go to highlight videos. And now you see that I have two highlight videos. One that's already completed rendering and one more that's in process. So let's go ahead and play the video that's already completed.
And there's our focus animation. That away, Zig. Nice job. Good job. And there's our transitions that fade in and out in between each of our video clips. In the final video, I'll show you how to take these videos, create your players page, add these videos into your players page so you can create your own video playlist.